Hi friends, I'm here with the yoga offering. As always, please go at your own pace, rest whenever you need to, and feel free to skip things or change things if they're not working for you today. Let's begin sitting. If you have something you want to sit up on, you can grab it. And come into a comfortable cross-leg position. Either close your eyes or take a soft gaze towards the floor in front of you. Start to slow down your breath. Welcome to keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you throughout your practice. And let's begin with a side stretch. We'll take the right arm up and over. You can lean onto your left hand or elbow. And start to circle your right arm back behind you, reaching as far back as you can. Finish up the circle you're on, coming back to your side stretch. Curve around through center and come all the way over to the other side, opening into a big side bend on the left. And then start to circle your left arm back behind you as far back as you can. Finish up the circle you're on, coming back to your side stretch. And then curve around through center all the way over. Take one big circle. When you get to the beginning, come through center all the way around. One big circle. And this time when you get to the beginning, curve around to center and then stay there folding over the legs. And that could be just leaning into your fingertips or it might come further down. Each exhale, seeing what is there to let go of here. Let's walk the hands back in, rolling up. We'll bring hands to the floor behind us, fingers facing forward. Roll your shoulders back and your elbows back. <coughs> and then lift the chest. Take the chest as high as you can, sternum rising up. Mm. Last breath here. Let's release. Come up, hands to knees, round back. Lean away from your hands on your knees. Drop your chin. And then roll your way back up. Let's recross the legs so the other leg is in front or on top. Sit tall and then drop your right ear over to right shoulder, pressing down through the left shoulder to stretch left side of the neck. Rotate your chin to your chest. Come over to the other side. <coughs> Both shoulders drop, but now even more through your right shoulder, looking for a stretch on the right side. Rotate chin to chest. Come back to the first side. And go back and forth a few times. Next time your chin is to your chest, stay there. Interlace your fingers behind your head. And let your elbows hang down, stretching the back of your neck. And then release the arms. Head floats back up. Bring hands to the floor behind you. 
Shoulders and elbows back. Lift the heart. And then release, come up. <clears throat> Hands to knees, round back. And then roll your way back up. Let's bring the feet to the floor, hip width apart. Shift your hands to the floor in front of your feet and take a little rock front to back. Stretching the toes as you go forward. Getting into calves and ankles as you go back. And we'll drop the heels, lift the hips, and come to hang in ragdoll. Bend your knees a little or a lot. Take a sway or shake out. And then let's plant the hands near the front of the mat and step back into a high push-up position, connecting the head to the heels, whole body in a straight long line. Shift your weight forward to lower down, low push up, and then come into your back bend. Cobra or up dog as low or high as feels right for you. Could be a little baby cobra or higher. And then back to down dog when you're ready, hips high. Take your time getting into each pose, you're welcome to paddle out a little or shift your hips side to side or move in any way that helps you explore being in your body. Let's drop the knees and sink back to child's pose. Just practicing that as a good option, remembering that you have the option of resting anytime. Mm. And then we'll come back through down dog. Bend the knees, look forward. And lightly hop or step the feet to the front of the mat, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Let's take a full A-series sun salutation. Next inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down up dog or cobra and then back to down dog and we'll take five deep breaths in down dog or any other resting pose you might take child's pose or sitting or come to your forearms or knees one more breath here Back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog, this time from down dog. Let's take the right leg up, and bend your knee in, and start circling this bent right knee. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a few times, big circles in both directions. 
Take your leg a little higher and then bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Extend it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. And right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Take a big step forward. High lunge, inhale, arms up. Settle in, sink low. Let's grab the left wrist and take it over for a side bend. Same thing, other side. Grab your right wrist, take it across. Back to center. Interlace fingers behind your back. Lift the chest. Release arms high. Tip forward, standing splits. Hands to the floor or to a couple of blocks. We'll do this with hips square and with the upper body letting go like ragdoll. One more breath. Step back, warrior one, drop the back heel, inhale, arms up. Settle in. Let's take eagle arms, right elbow on top of left. Lift the heart, hips low, little upper back arch. And then shift your weight forward, come onto the toes, that back foot, and step into Eagle, Garudasana, knee on top of knee. If you can, hook your ankle around your calf, do so. If it doesn't reach, just hug it in close. One more breath. Release, unwind, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Opening through the left hip. When you're ready, extend left arm high. And we're going towards balance. Wobbling is part of that practice. Falling is part of that practice. So can your breath be steady? Whether you're balancing, wobbling, falling, whatever's happening. Last breath here. Release, make your way to down dog, however you want to get there. Maybe you take a vinyasa, maybe you just step back. From down dog, when you're ready, left leg sweeps up. Bend your knee in and start circling. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a few times. And bring the left knee towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. Right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge, arms up. Settle in. Let's grab the right wrist, take it over. Little side bend. Come over to the other side. Back to center, interlace fingers behind your back. Maybe the other thumb on top this time, though I don't normally cross. Release arms up, tip forward. Standing splits, hands to the floor or to blocks. Stretch that right leg as straight and long and high as you can. Last breath. Step back, warrior one. Arms high, hips low. And then we'll take eagle arms, left elbow on top this time. Lean forward, come onto the toes, that back foot. 
And then step into eagle. Hips low, deep bend in the supporting leg. Head high, long spine. One more breath. Unwind, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. So going in the directions you know to go in and then letting it be however it is. Last breath here. Release, make your way back to a good rest. Let's make our way back to high push-up <coughs> and lower all the way onto the belly. You can turn your head to one side, little rest. You might have your arms back by your legs or hands under your head. And then extend your arms forward, reach the legs back. And let's lift up through the arms and legs. It doesn't have to be high, but go long. Long through the fingers, long through the toes, long neck. And then release. Head turns the other way, letting go. Mm. Let's come up again, reaching arms forward, legs back. This time, legs all the way together, squeezing the inner thighs together. Reach out to come up. Keep the legs squeezing together. And then open the arms out to the side, letting the chest come up a little higher, a little freer. We'll interlace fingers behind the back. Reach the knuckles back. <coughs> Still head forward, so back of the neck is long. Legs squeezing together. And then take the arms back out to the sides, back even with the ears, last couple seconds. And then release. <sighs> Letting go. Let's bend the knees and reach back for the <coughs> ankles or outsides of the feet for bow pose, Dhanurasana. I'm going to kick the feet into the hands, letting the strength of the legs lift the chest. Try and keep the knees just hip width apart. And then release and rest, head to the other side, letting go. Depending on how that felt, you can stay resting. You can do the same thing again. You can take some other belly down, back bend, maybe something more gentle like Sphinx or Cobra. Listening to your body, whatever you are doing. And when you come down from this last one, you can take a little windshield wiper side to side with the lower legs. And then press back to child's pose, spreading the lower back, releasing that. <sighs> With arms out in front of you, walk your hands over to the left. And then pull back through your right hip, stretching right side a little more. Come through center and over to the other side. Pull back through your left hip, stretching left side a bit more. And then back to center. Let's make our way onto our backs. You can take whatever transition you like. 
Bring your knees in. And take a little circle or rock with your knees, massaging the lower back and sacrum into the floor. And then drop your feet to the floor. We'll cross the right ankle above the left knee. Reach your hands through, grab the left leg and hug it in, stretching the right outer hip. <coughs> As you do this, can you drop the shoulders? Can you drop your chin? Spreading the whole backside of the torso. And release left foot to the floor. Straighten the right leg up, flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle a couple times, both directions. And then keeping your right leg more or less where it is, straighten your left leg along the floor, grounding down through the back of the left leg. And let's open the right leg out to the right, just at a slight angle. You can hold wherever it works for you. And then bring this straight leg up and across for a spinal twist. Your left hand might hold the outside of your right foot. If that's too far, you could use a strap or bend your knee or hold your ankle or calf. Open out through the right arm, drop down through the right hip. And then if you want to add a quad stretch to this, your right hand can reach down for your left foot, drawing that in. Let's release, roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in. Take a little circle or rock. You can shake out your legs. Maybe kick your butt. And then let's get set up for the other side. Drop both feet to the floor. Cross your left ankle above your right knee. Reach your hands through, grab the right knee, hug it in, drop your shoulders, drop your chin. release, drop the right foot to the floor, straighten the left leg up, flex and point, circle your ankle both directions, and then straighten the right leg along the floor and we'll open the left leg out to the left. What is there to release here, finding just the right amount of effort? Bring this straight leg up and across. Spinal twist. And if you did add a quad stretch on the other side, you can add that again, left hand reaching for the right foot. And 
then roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in. Take a little circle or rock with your knees. And then shake out your legs, shaking the muscle on the bone. You might shake out your arms a little bit. And then check in with your body. What's still needed? Is there any last stretch or pose or anything you need to do to feel complete in your practice? If there are any last poses, take the time you need. If there's any parts of your body that could use some attention, this is a time to tune in. We're all learning how to take good care of these bodies. And that's through trial and error, through practice, through practice listening. When nothing else is needed, you can start getting comfortable in your final resting pose making any adjustments to your clothing or grabbing any props. And eventually settle into stillness, letting go. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And let this movement increase gradually through your wrists and ankles, eventually stretching out long through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. Roll to one side. And use your hands to help you up to sitting. Bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hope you have a good rest of your day.